Schedule wise, we had 20 shoot days, so it was four weeks, four or five day weeks. And that was what was budgeted for, and, and that's what we had. There was no overtime, you know, we did, we did 10 hours and we walked away. Whatever we had, we walked away from. So, yeah, literally, you know, two, 200 hours, which sounds like a lot, but it's all relative. I think if you're trying to shoot a 130 page script, it's, it's challenging. Long Story Short is a romantic comedy written and directed by Josh Lawson. It's basically about Teddy, who's a time poor individual, which I think you know most people can relate to. And he wakes up the morning after his wedding, finding that um, each year of his life is passing um, a, a few minutes at a time, and he sees his world sort of falling apart in front of him, and then he needs to do something about it. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't Bad say. Play. I didn't say really anything. Play. That looks really good. What? It's really good. What, what? what the f Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but are you, are, you, are you okay? Well, from early on, I actually said to Josh, I just, I'd love this film to look, you know, not like a polished US rom com. I feel like a lot of those films can maybe be a little bit overlit or a little bit too polished. Like, I was hoping to make something a little bit dirtier. Is that allowed? And he's allowed. Why wouldn't it be allowed? Josh was really keen from the beginning to use a lot of Steadicam in the film to keep it, it flowing. It's very sort of dialogue heavy. The film flows throughout the apartment. Probably 70% of the film is, takes place inside uh, the apartment in Bronte, which we ended up building a set for. The production designer, Stephen Jones Evans, he did a great job and that sort of, you know, led us down the road to be able to light the studio lighting scenario. So the gaffer, Reg Garside and I sort of came up with a plan to for that and to be able to move quickly and to be able to move throughout the rooms in the house. You know, basically every room in the house was lit and allowed the freedom for the steady cam to move in and out of each room and gave the actors the freedom to, to do what they wanted really, which was which was great. Tallulah! Oh. Oh. Ow! <sighs> wow, you grew. We ended up shooting on the Alexa Mini, which is kind of a go-to camera for me. I, shoot basically everything on that. Format wise we actually went with anamorphic and shot in the wide aspect ratio which yeah was a choice I kind of wanted to utilize a small amount of depth of field that those lenses gave us to help with our set build and the backdrops and 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 everything and I, and I also thought that just is basically a two-handed between Rafe and Zar and and I just liked the composition of the wide screen for for those two people you know in the frame and I could sort of work either end of that and, you know, we could move around the house. There wasn't a lot sort of top and bottom that we needed to see, you know, in that location. We were also really lucky on Long Story Short to get a fantastic cast. Josh was clever to cast two leads in a really dialogue heavy film that have done solo stand-up theatre before that can deliver dialogue in all day, every day. And I mean, I can honestly say that Rafe and Zara did not skip a beat for four weeks, you know, 20 days of shooting, and, and that alone can save you hours in a day, you know. You know what, that would make sense. That would make sense. Yeah, the 11 o'clock was the first time um, I'd met and worked with Josh. It was directed by Darren Seal, who I'd been working with on TV commercials, and it was just literally, what are you doing next week? You know, Josh and Damon are in town, Josh has got a script. Um, I think it's great, let's just shoot it for a bit of fun. And it had a long life, you know, it won a lot of awards and ended up being nominated for an Academy Award, which is amazing. And thankfully, Josh, you know, two years, three years later, or however long it was, I mean, we hadn't really stayed in touch after that. He was back in Los Angeles and, yeah, he had his second feature film to make and a bit of loyalty in the film industry. He came back and rang me and was keen for me to shoot that for him, so it was exciting. Wow, I'm impressed. The story of Long Story Short is relatable to a lot of people because it's about Teddy who just doesn't seem to have enough time in his life to do anything like we all lead busy lives and it's a great film to take a partner to and, and, and I hope also it's just entertaining and people can sit there for 90 minutes and have a bit of a laugh and um, enjoy some Australian cinema.